Tech Software Trainings YouTube channel. My name is Kumar and I am the trainer for Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud Applications team. So today I came here with a video on how to enable Redwood user interface in Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud Applications team. See in our previous video I have explained you what is the difference between Redwood UI classic UI and responsive UI team right so in continuation to that video team this is part 2 of Redwood UI series okay in this video I am going to explain you team how to enable the Redwood user interface in the fusion application because by this time we understood how the Redwood UI in the fusion system looks like the latest user interface team now let us check into the detailness of how to enable the Redwood UI team. See as I told you Oracle already taken up the decision of enabling the Redwood user interfaces every quarterly upgrade team. I mean every upgrade Oracle adding on the screens in every modules team. But as a consultants working on this technology we should also know about how to enable the Redwood UI in the system team. So let us get into the system team. So as I told you, we are going to see how to enable Redwood UI in Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud Applications team. Let me get into the system. Okay. So team, if I get into the system team, usually in order to enable the Redwood UI, Oracle came up with a concept called profile values see we have that profile values concept for other aspects also in the system team for enabling certain features in the system then to maintain certain validations in the system we have profile values concept team probably many of you who looking at this video you might know already about the profile value concept in the system right in talent profile we have seen in performance management we have seen then in goal management we have seen, in absences we have profile values team. Similarly, we have something called administrative profile values task in the system. And for every screen in the system, to enable that Oracle given the respective profile option codes. Kumar, where we can get that? I'll be sharing this document team. Whoever is required, you can please uh, comment in this video below with your respective uh, requirement. I mean, just like you can ping with the document by name. Just comment out as document team. We will share that profile option document to you. Or even it is an open source, even you can go to Oracle repository and you can get it downloaded team. This is nothing that uh, I, I got it personally from Oracle. It's an open source for everyone who learning this team. If you want it, please comment in the below as document. Our team will get in touch with you and they will share the document team. Okay. So this is a document I am talking about team. Okay. See Oracle given a document here that is HCM Redwood pages with profile options. Right. So in this team Oracle detailedly given us what are the profile option codes for every module team. If you see the table of contents here you can check out. What are some common areas in the system if you want to enable team search profiles, create person indexes and then team from here if you see that is 0.7 in the index team where my cursor is there here. Steps to enable Redwood pages. Module wise, what are the profile options we have in the system team? In human resources what we have, absence what we have, benefits what we have compensation, payroll, time and labor, profile management, then talent, goal, performance, then talent review, succession, learning, what not, every module team. So if I go to let's say human resources team here, if I come to human resources team here. So this is the document we can see team. So in human resources we have is a module team heading you can check out here. Uh, employment info area. So in employment info under me, under my team, under my client groups. In all the three self services, employee, manager, HR. When they go to these respective 
self service area sting employment info page we have correct so do you want to enable that employment info page from current responsive to redwood ui then this is the profile option code we have ora per employment info redwood enabled then team positions if you go to my client you, you can see the navigation here team the screen navigation my client group position if you want that screen to enable to redwood these are the uh, profile option codes we have team for that to enable then similarly for jobs if i go to my client group under that quick actions and if i go to jobs then that job screen if you want to enable these are the codes we have team then for shared data access then for seniority dates then for job families personal person ex identifiers for external application screens then for collective agreement then for locations if i scroll down each and every screen in the system we have the navigation of that screen and which screen to enable that which profile option code we have all the codes are available here team you can find it out then if you scroll down team these all are core hr related stuff then absence management related screens team see under me time and absences donations under me time and absences cash disbursement or under me time and absences absence balance functionality employee self service or manager self service both me and my team right and here you can see team absence balances absence balances donations then bidding screen what not team it's a very detailed document we have team see the only thing is the right approach that we don't know how to enable it correctly team so please follow this document team in every module whatever the screens or the functionalities that we want to enable the redwood team the respective profile option code is there shall we get into the system and check it out team for any one of the particular screen what is currently in the responsive ui i'll show you practically team how to enable it to redwood then you will understand clearly how you can use this uh, document that i'm sharing with you team right see the very first thing team we have in the system if i go up to the document team uh, see steps to enable redwood pages you can refer in this document paper 7 page 7 sorry okay here team you can read it it's a very clear cut explanation is there team first of all in the system if you go to setup and maintenance we have a task called manage administrative profile values team okay manage administrative profile values team so go to the system team come to the system so here i'll show you first of all team if i come to my client groups as an admin team if i go to quick actions then if i go to show more right here team under employment i have something called employment info let us try it out with this screen team i want this employment info page to move to redwood currently in this system this is in responsive user interface team see if i check out team now and i came to my client group quick actions and i'm going to employment info page see team this is responsive ui i can search the employee ah huh? then i can come see some employee search in the system team and then i am coming to peter john henry record team so this is employment info details page this is responsive ui shall we change it to redwood team let me do that follow the steps carefully okay once after we log in into the system come to the right side settings and action then administration under that team we have setup and maintenance this is our fsm task many of you know about this already come to setup and maintenance team and here here if you come to the right side task bar we have our universal search area right come to search here team you search with this task in the document what we have team manage administrative profile value come 
search with that task team okay give a search we will be getting that what is that here manage administrative profile values go to this task team see here we can search team profile option code everything is there before we getting into the actual functionality team we have one profile option see in order to use the redwood pages you must globally enable the redwood page using the profile value this is the master profile value in the system many of you don't know because even to my students also when i'm explaining in the class they will not follow this one they will directly go to the functionality level profile value and they will enable and they will come to me and say that kumar uh, the screen is not changing kumar whatever the path you have explained we did that but this is the step you are missing team this is one of the global profile option code for redwood in the system for the entire application first and the foremost thing aura hcm vbcs pwa enabled this is the profile option code we have to enable without enabling this if you directly get into the functionality and you enable that it won't work team first of all take this profile option code in this document even screenshots are there team you can find it let me go here let me paste it here team okay don't give any spaces any mistakes here team give a search so here i can see my profile option code came aura hcm vbcs pwa enabled so here team we have the profile values to enable site level nothing to touch team i'm not getting into how to add user specific and all team that is not required at this stage site level here team profile value by default will be n no we have to keep it as y y means yes yes we are enabling that see team in the document also what it is saying go and keep this option with y n so this is what first step in the enablement of redwood ui in the system team okay so keep it y then save and close i have done that team even now if you go and check the screen the screen will not change to responsive see my client group quick actions show more then i came to employment info page did it change it to redwood no what we have to do after that that's a global profile value after that screen specific functionality specific we have to target see here we have team human resource so i'm taking the very first one only team employment info see when i go to my client group and when i come to employment info this employment info screen i want to enable redwood here we have team the redwood option code profile option code what is that aura her employment info redwood enabled so go to this uh, code copy that then come to the system then the same trans, uh, navigation team set up and maintenance okay then come to the universal search area in the right side taskbar then search with manage administrative okay profile value right manage administrative profile values come here team then you can search with your code okay everyone look at my screen team okay aura per employment info redwood enabled so here team for this particular employment info code we have to give the site level option as a yes by default it is no now we are enabling that click on yes select yes team now say one close immediately don't go and check everyone will have rush even i used to have that habit team system will take some time to get the changes reflected so what we have to do for our dffs how we do team signing out and sign in again once do the sign out and then sign in into the system team now let me sign in back now let us check it out here team whether the screen changed to redwood or not now i am going team my client groups quick actions okay then show more right then team i am coming to employment info here right so let me click on employment info 
and see team now the page changed to redwood this is redwood this is redwood in my previous video also i have shown you red and white combination we can see even in the url you can see team it's come as redwood it changed it to redwood this is what we have to follow team so this is the document we have to follow for every functionality in the system oracle given us team the navigation and this profile option code is for what but the first thing don't miss out is first enable this one thing ora hcm vbcs pw enable then you can follow for all the modules team whatever the screens that you want to enable so the practically we have seen now how to enable the redwood ui for our employment info page now it got enabled right in the same way you can make use of this document and you can able to get that uh, change it thing so now when you are attending the interviews do we get any question in redwood are we able to answer it team i hope we got ample information the previous video and this video if you see what is redwood how to enable that redwood ui in the system we all of us understood in the next coming videos team we will be planning to explain you the customization of redwood ui because regular classic or responsive screens team we have a sandbox concept right through page composer we can do the customization or we have a uh, hcm design studio for validations to input or auto complete rules also we have one concept team but in classic or responsive team we have sandbox in place but for redwood we cannot do the customization through sandbox team there is a vbcs component coming into the system visual builder cloud service that is a pass extension tool that oracle offering team so if we have to customize any of the page level attributes on the redwood screen we cannot do it from the traditional approach of sandbox team we have to have our vbcs enabled in the system visual builder cloud service studio through that we can able to do that team so in the coming days i will be uploading the videos on that as well how to customize the redwood ui through vbcs team so thank you everyone for watching the video so i request everyone please subscribe to our youtube channel to get more videos like this on oracle hcm cloud and please do share this with your friends or colleagues who require uh, the the knowledge on redwood ui or the further concepts in hcm team so thank you everyone for watching the video again and signing off for the day thank you